you may have heard of the whistleblower Edward Snowden. But why are his revelations so important? Nowadays, with, with the Edward Snowden leaks, people are talking a lot about metadata, and you have them saying, oh, well, it's only metadata we're collecting. Um, that's the, that's the, what they're trying to dupe everybody into thinking that is nothing. And what I thought about metadata is that it, it takes away the right to assemble because it says who, who you're talking to and that's it talks correct. about networks. That's correct. And the difference between metadata and data I would make is yeah. pretty simple. In, in data, what that means, I'm looking at your conversation, yeah. listening to it, or looking or reading a transcript, or I'm reading your emails, or your file transfers, or your short messages or anything that you're doing on the web, seeing what you're querying, things like that, that's the data. Uh, that gives me information about you for that period of time. So it gives me a look in depth in what you're doing at that time. Metadata gives me the view of who you're doing with all over, all the time. Your entire community I can get from metadata and how you relate with them. And I can, uh, just by looking at who you're talking to, I can see, do things like say, you're having medical problems, and it's this kind of problem because you're, you're, you're talking to this kind of uh, doctor. Or you're planning a trip and you're going here because you use your credit card over there. That's metadata, yeah. right? Not data, content. So it, you can tell an awful lot about a person and how they operate and, and actually uh, what they're about to do.